You know what? That is actually, admittedly, very cool. Hold oh, are you flinging from airplane to air? What? <laughs> Like, what even? That looked insane. I don't know how many of you guys played Bright Memory, but according to Steam, it had a very positive reception when it launched onto Steam on March 25th, 2020. And I just took a look at a few of the screenshots and I was like, wow, I understand now why some of you guys mentioned in the comment section of one of the previous videos I did that I had to go ahead and take a look at this game. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play Bright Memory because I am genuinely curious of what it has to offer. But when I was checking Steam for it, it was brought to my attention that they are actually making a sequel called Bright Memory Infinite. This does not currently have a release date, but I figured with how good Bright Memory looked and how well received the game was and how many of you recommended I take a look at it, that I should probably go ahead and look at this trailer. Now, this is developed by Playism. It was a nice, uh, nice view. Wow. This game is currently in development. Okay, so... This game is... Is like, it, it is... First person. I don't know if there's like an optional third person camera. I, it's probably not. It's probably a first person exclusive game. Whoa. I can see some of you guys already being like, oh god, this is making me motion sick. But this is a beautiful looking game, wow. So I wonder if you could have actually climbed over another point, or if this is uh, really, really linear. I'm not sure how much freedom is presented to the player in terms of uh, exploration and how to go about tackling. I'm not sure if this is even mission based. But what I see, the the uh, the changing, the swapping between melee weapons and guns, and the the ability, um, are are you like a, a ninja or something? Okay, it looks like you had to jump across there because the water probably drowns you. Because <laughs> you know, as a trained assassin, you're weak against water. You were never taught how to swim. I take it this is uh, set in Asia then? This guy is being pulled around like a pinata. Man, this is some next level gameplay though. Uh. See, if you guys have watched me for any length of time, you would know that if I attempted to do this, I would miss the the hook, and I would probably fling myself into the statue, and then the dude would kill me. Wow, she looks adorable. Was that the entire trailer? Those who have purchased Bright Memory will receive Bright Memory Infinite, wait, what did that say? For free? Completely free of charge? And it is launching on... You know what, that is actually, admittedly, very cool. Hold, are you flinging from airplane to air? What? <laughs> Holy crap! Like, what even? That looked insane! Now, according to the Steam page, it states that Bright Memory Infinite is an all-new lightning-fast fusion of the FPS and action genres created by FYQD Studio. Combine a wide variety of skills and abilities to unleash dazzling combo attacks. And then it goes on to state, Bright Memory Infinite is set in a sprawling futuristic metropolis in the year 2036. A strange phenomenon for which scientists can find no explanation has occurred in the skies around the world. The Supernatural Science Research Organization, abbreviated as 
SRO has sent agents out to various regions to investigate this phenomenon, it is soon discovered that these strange occurrences are connected to an archaic mystery and as of yet unknown history of two worlds about to come to light. And then about Bright Memory Episode 1. During the initial stages, since it was pretty difficult to estimate the number of copies that would sell, I decided to create the kind of game that could start out as a demo and later use crowdfunding support to develop it further. I finally managed to amass enough time and funding, so the action and general gameplay will remain as is, but the story and stages are all being reworked. From here on out, I will no longer be developing Bright Memory Episode 1 any further, but I plan on making regular experimental editions of various new features, etc., which players will be able to try out. Once development of Bright Memory Infinite is complete, it will be distributed as a separate game, but those who have already purchased Bright Memory Episode 1 will receive a special 100% off discount coupon for Bright Memory Infinite prior to its release. Now, Bright Memory actually has a price tag of $10, and it has over almost 24,000 positive reviews. This has a 92% positive review rate, which is insane, especially for a game that, if I am going off of what I read, seems to have been developed by either one guy or a very small group of people. So guys over at FYQD Studio or Playism, kudos to you because you did an amazing job. Now, this game looks really, really cool. I am a fan of action games. I'm a fan of first person shooters as well especially looter shooters like Borderlands, but this is something else altogether. I have absolutely no issue spending the $10 to get into Bright Memory, to test it, to see if it's worth my time. And the fact that you get an automatic update to Bright Memory Infinite as well when this game is finally finished means that if you have not already, you should probably go ahead and buy the game, especially now considering that price tag might go up when this game is finished. Now, this game is going to be released on not only the Xbox, but also PC. So for those of you that have one or the other, you're more than capable of jumping into the game. This is not going to be released for PlayStation consoles, unfortunately for us Sony gamers. But at the same time, I have covered so many games that are launching cross-platform between PC and PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. That's about time some of you Xbox players got some love, right? Now, this game looks incredible. I am very excited to play Bright Memory, the first incarnation of it. And I am even more, well, I don't wanna say I'm even more excited, but the graphics for Infinite, I think might be better than the original version of the game. So if that is the case, then I am even more excited to potentially get in and play Infinite as well. But what about you guys? Have you played Bright Memory? What did you think of the game? I know a lot of you recommend recommended it to me via the comment section, so I'm going to go on a limb here and assume at least some of you have played the game and tried it out. Either way, let me know down in the comments below if you want to go ahead and play this, if you're anticipating playing Infinite, if you've played the original version, and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.